Hey guys, Thad. And Grayson. Here for Iowa Budget RC. And we've got an unboxing today. Uh, we've been trying to get this done for a few weeks now. Um, at least two weeks, but uh, sickness hit our family and uh, none of us felt good enough to uh, do this. And uh, But wanted to at least get this thing unboxed and show it to you. Uh, this is the Ruko 1601 Amphibious Car. And it's IPX6 waterproof and will go through uh, pretty much any terrain you want to throw at it. Uh, I wouldn't call it a rock crawler or anything, but uh, it's supposed to do really good in the yard. It's supposed to do really good on hard surfaces and then of course in the water. And uh, we're hoping to get some snow here so we can uh, see what it does in the snow. But anyway, Grayson, open this thing up and let's uh, pull it out of the box and check it out. So here it is. This is the Ruko 1601, and it looks like a uh, Toyota FJ, which is really cool. Um, this uh, uh, the the tires are hard plastic on it, and uh, um, yeah, it'll make it good for floating. Uh, if you notice, if you look at it, the the tread pattern is backwards. Um, and I'm sure they did that to get it to uh, go in the water, but uh, let me cut these zip ties here. Go ahead and yank that baby out of there. I'll get the control. Sit down there, Junior. All right, so the control is forward, reverse, left and right, and it works like a tank. So uh, when you got it in forward mode, both sets of wheels will be spinning forward. You got it in reverse, both will spin backwards. You got it in your left and your right. Um, and I'm pretty sure when you do just left, this yeah, if you do it just left, one side spins. If you do it just right, the other side spins. Just no. like a tank. Or both sides spin the opposite way. No, that's not, no, nope. they don't do that. They don't? Nope. And so, uh, Grayson's going to pause it. We're going to get a screwdriver and we're going to get this thing open. All right, so we've got the screw loose here. You pull this top off. And then there's two little flipper dues in there you open that up and the there's your battery compartment um, no. yes it oh. did come with a battery and it's supposed to come with two so we've got two chargers two of the USB chargers and two of these uh, little, they're 2S, uh, uh, 7.4 volt, 800 milli, 850 milliamp, uh, I'm not sure if they're lipos or lithium ion, it, it doesn't like say. Lipos. I think they're, I think they're lipos and they do have a balance plug on them, so, uh, if I can figure out a little, uh, adapter, I should be able to charge them on the big charger but let's plug this thing in and see if there's any charge in these batteries uh, probably need a double A on that all right so uh, Grayson turn the control on I'll turn that on forward reverse yeah see this this is turning you got the left Turning while going forward, turning right while going backwards. Okay. So that's pretty interesting. I told um, you it was like that. The, the body on this looks like a, a real like Toyota FJ. It's pretty neat. Uh, which I really like the FJs. I think they're cool looking trucks. So small. while we still got a little bit of daylight, we're going to take this thing outside and just run it around the yard real quick. 
the next video we do on this, we will run it around in some water. So uh, uh, we'll bring you back in a second. All right, Grayson, hit her. See what kind of range it's got. Take it all the way out, way out in the yard. Well, this thing's gonna be a fun little truck for any age. So would I recommend it? Just driving it around the yard? I would say yes. Um, be good for indoors also. You could drive it on the carpet and whatever. I wouldn't recommend driving it on hardwood floors, but looking forward to checking it out on water. you can tell but it is snowing we're supposed to get a decent amount of snow tonight so we'll see see how this thing does in snow maybe if we get some uh, snow hoping the little pond that we take our RC boat to is not completely frozen over so we can run it at some point this weekend even if it's just for a couple minutes in the cold yeah we need to charge the battery this is just with what with charge was in the box but Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Thad. And I'm Grayson. For Iowa Budget RC. This is the Ruko 1601 Amphibious Vehicle, and we will have the link in the description. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and have a Merry Christmas.